They're in my heart. They're in my thoughts. And they're in heaven. And that's a great spot for them. A day playing in the backyard turns to tragedy for a Cleveland Heights family. Tonight, we remember Scout and Chasey Scaravilli, the two young sisters who tragically died in a hammock accident. Their father sat down with me today in his backyard, the place where it happened. During that interview, he told me he felt at peace and he painted the most beautiful and detailed picture of his girls. And I think you'll realize too, just how special they truly were. I wanted to sit back here because this is really, this is actually the second time since, uh, since Sunday that I've been back here and I haven't been able to come back here because of what happened. The first time JJ Scaravilli came friends. back here was just 30 minutes before he sat down for our interview to make sure he felt strong enough. It's been nice to come back here finally and it seems peaceful now. This father of four girls is right next to the place where his two oldest daughters, 14-year-old Scout and 12-year-old Chasey, set up a hammock. And I was over there sleeping. And in an instant, it came tumbling down, and it was something I never would have thought of. I don't blame anybody. I don't blame myself. I don't blame those girls. I looked at it a hundred times. I never thought a brick pillar would come down like that. That was never even in my mind. He said police officers, staff at but university hospitals happened. did everything they could to try to save his girls. Two large trees are now planted where the hammock once stood. But accidents happen and they were a gift and they're needed someplace else now. He wishes everyone could have met the apples of his eye. Scout, the oldest, her dad says she could write a playbook about how to be the best big sister in the world. A lovely little girl, his words, she'd wake up before the rest and whip up breakfast and unload the dishwasher. Dad says none of the others did that. And Chasey, from TikToks to sailing to acting, she'd make her presence known. She was always the star of a show, even if it was her own. Sweetheart. You are more famous now than your wildest dreams. And that's what gives this father strength, something he says he'll need in the next few days, weeks, years. I got a lot of love from them. And I smothered them with kisses to a fault. <laughs> but they're going to be with me forever. Right here. Right here. And right there which is a little unsettling because it means I need to make sure I really do everything right. <laughs> Their smiles didn't just light up a room, they lit up everyone they touched. I keep telling their sisters that they haven't left. They're in their hearts and they're in heaven. And they'll do more good for us in those two places than they ever did when they were standing by your side. The family wants to thank their family and friends for the unwavering support. I saw it firsthand today. A celebration of life will be held tomorrow at Hawkins School for the Sisters.